right, bro. All right, let's go. Pick up sign. We'll get some literature out of the way, right? Uh, no one reads anymore. I picked up some magazines at the Value Village. These come to like a dollar, a dollar each, and if you buy four, you get one free. So I got some, uh, you know, some music stuff and some guitar magazines. You know, it's probably gross thinking that these were probably in someone's bathroom at some point, but you know, I got some good articles in there. Uh, also, hardcover book, uh, 300. This comprises the first uh, few actual comic books. All in one spot. You know what I mean? 300. You know what that is? Are you here? Hello? It's the movie, yeah. Speaking. I saw it. <laughs> I saw it. Okay, some gaming literature. Uh, I got this game uh, earlier this year from Canadian Retro, so... Uh, Where's my game? You don't play this stuff. So now I got... Uh, the guide for it. Not a lot of pictures in here though. I don't know about this game guide. No colored pictures. Oh well. What else we got? The Gears of War game guide. For the first Gears of War. These ones are cool. Plus it has the, the big poster in there. The big poster. Batman Arkham Origins. Another good one. No poster. I don't even know if I got this game, actually, to tell you the truth, to be honest with you. And another Batman uh, Injustice. Well, I got that game, so I should probably take this. Um, yeah, I don't know about that. Got some Wonder Woman in this, yeah. There you go. What, what goes there? Come on, dude. Uh, this game... Valkyrie profile. This is just for the PSP. I don't have this game either, but uh, I happen to get lucky at Value Village. They're ringing these up as magazines, so a dollar each. So that was fun. Instead of five dollars each or whatever price tag they put on there before I pull it off. And uh, one of these Tales games. I don't have this game either. I kind of thought maybe this would be up your alley, but I don't shop for you anymore. So. Well, I like those games. Uh, I don't have this one though. So yeah. I find these games still tend to be even pricey on the, uh, still on the secondhand market as well. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, this is more in your line. Well, I, I got this for the kid, Minecraft. Yeah. She loves Minecraft. I actually yeah, started. The, yeah, the big kid, you. I started reading it, dude, and I'm like, maybe I should give Minecraft a shot because it's basically a survival game. You have to, uh, you're dropped into this world and you gotta build a shelter and find food and all that shit and survive the night. It's basically a survival game. It's just these... It's too basic, I can't get through the 8-bit basics. You think it's basic, but it's actually not. I might actually give that a try. I don't know why I'm being so hard-headed on that. Should I move on to hardware now? <clears throat> why is that funny? Oh, please Why do. is that funny? Again, in the baggies of Value Village, uh, Sony branded wireless PS2 controller these are the dongles well this dongle goes with it that's an extra dongle this dongle goes somewhere else yeah i was hoping to find that color of that as well in the baggies but i couldn't and as well i had to do some baggy manipulation to get this dongle in that baggie because it was with something else oh. stupid so you stole no baggy manipulations i wish you'd manipulate my bag found some more ds's that's just a DS Lite, but this sucker is Joe Kindish Mint. In fact, yeah. my uh, daughter wants to take it, even though she already has that's a not DS. My, that's not my color, so I'll let her take it. And uh, it's like, this has never been opened, kind of thing. She's like, I'm like, you already have a DS. Why do you want to take that away from me? She's like, well, mine's scratched up. Well, it's just too bad. Look at the bedazzle on that, eh? <laughs> so that's... Woo. You would do that, wouldn't you? I'd bedazzle something else. So I gotta take those puppies off. Uh, so this is a DSi. These were in the baggies, six dollars each. Mine are never in the baggies. Work perfectly, six bucks each. And then uh, one of the PS3s I'm trying to sell is missing its power cord. So I've been on the lookout for power cords, and I couldn't remember if it was this end. That's what she said. Or was it this end? That's what she said. So these were in separate baggies. I had to do, again, some baggie how manipulation. You, tell us how you manipulate bags. <laughs> well, someone opened it already, and this fell out, so I just put it back. 
And then I got both variations in the same baggie for, for $3. It's weird how that happens. You know, people are watching on the cameras. This was from a hawk shop, which is basically a pawn shop, a chain we have here in Canada. I've been looking for one of these for a while. They're always 40 bucks at my vintage video game store. It's 50 bucks. This was on for $10 and he offered to uh, test it out for me. <sighs> Battery pack is there. And as he's trying and he's playing pole position and he can't get the car to move back and forth because he's going like this. And I was about to tell him what you're supposed to do is to steer it like that. And I thought, well, wait a minute, I might get a deal here. So I'm like, oh, well, obviously that game doesn't work. So how about we take a little knock off the price? <laughs> so got a little discount because he couldn't get pole position to work. But you twist it like a steering wheel. On to games. Should I go to games? Sure. You don't have to look at me because no one can see what you're doing. <laughs> Why aren't you on camera for this? Uh, Star Wars Trilogy for the Game Boy Advance. I wasn't sure what that was. I thought it would be like the uh, Super Nintendo Star Wars games. But it's more, it reminds me more of uh, early Prince of Persia games. Anyways, I just started it. That's say it's that kind of rendering of running and jumping and ledge climbing and that kind of thing. It's actually pretty fun. Uh, so that was under five, but everything else is under five dollars here, people. Spider-Man 3 for the DS. Here go. Uh, been wanting that for a while to try it, Excite Bots. I've heard good things about it, even though it's all motion controls. Again, this was uh, under five bucks, but has no, no manual. Star Wars Battlefront. I have this already. But for five bucks, I think I can make a little bit of scratch on it. The suffering, same thing. I, I already have this, it turns out. But it was uh, four bucks, I think. So I'll go in the trade pile. Always love these type of games. Uh, no manual. I have this already for the uh, Xbox. This is for the PS2, so maybe this can be traded as well. You like this stuff, right? Where's the commentary from Joe? I like this stuff, yes. <laughs> uh, I, gra I didn't know what this was. Konami, though, so I gave it a chance. Uh, it turns out it's a crappy game, but go on, the, go on the trade block. Trade it. I wasn't sure about this. Lord of the Rings Conquest. Yeah, they're usually fun games. I think they're like hack and slashes more than anything, right? You know what you're talking about. Yeah, hack and slash. Anyways, uh, button mesh. Yeah, it's it's it. Uh, I think on the market, it's like a fifteen dollar game, and it was for like three bucks. Well, I'll that. give you five. And you're still making money. I always wondered what the Call of Duty games were like on the Wii, so I finally got a hold of one at a cheap price where I can try it. Look how much money I spent at Value Village that day. It's ridiculous. And if you heard the podcast, you would have heard how I got uh, scammed out of my thirty percent off card. So paid full retail for that anyways I still got to try this because uh, I'm curious what the zapper is like on these Call of Duty games and uh, found this Final Fantasy Crisis Core for the PSP if I'm correct this was only released on the PSP and it's a prequel to Final Fantasy 7 so maybe somebody like Joe would spend big bucks on it. Oh, you didn't oh, see how much I saw I that four fifty one price <laughs> so, tag. So, so maybe Joe would like to. Uh, well, that book's a little wrecked. So pony up give about uh, twenty five bucks, I think, for this. I'll give you uh, six bucks. Two dollars. Mm, Two dollars. That's big money. That's big money right there. It's Final Fantasy. Money. It's PSP. It's shit. Now, brand new games. Brand new, paying retail at EB Games. This is one of the few copies of Shovel Knight left in Ontario. So I was near the. Uh, the EB games that actually had it so I said piss on it I'm gonna buy it still wrapped up I think it was 28 30 bucks something like that as I was buying that I looked behind the guy behind the counter and I was like what is that Konami uh, title in behind you Konami classics has the Contra on there I think this is kind of hard to find so I got this and uh, it was price listed at about 17 bucks. All right. So I picked that up for 17 bucks. 
I'm gonna pass it over to you. That's it. Come around behind me here. Heard that before. You wish. Okay. Keep those big fingers off the lens. I didn't quite pick up as much as you, but uh, first one I got here is Lego Batman. I bought this just because I had it loose and uh, I just wanted a complete copy of it. Hmm. Got, uh, do you play many of those Lego games? Not yet. Yeah. Got, uh, they're fun, so I don't think you'd A couple like of demo discs games. there. I like collecting these ones, like, you Why? know, the old ones you'd find in the magazines. Why do you like those? Uh, just because you don't really see you them never, in the wild. You never got that magazine ever in your life, so why would you like the demo discs? Oh, and there's another one. Okay. Well, good. Glad you're trying new things. Uh, picked this up for PS2. Sonic Riders. I'm not really a Sonic fan too much, but I figured it looked like it was a fun one. You don't play fun games. No, it's got some four-player aspect. I don't understand. Picked up uh, Sly 3. You wouldn't understand four-play, from what I understand. No. Oh. <laughs> Grabbed uh, Gears of War. I upgraded to this one because this one comes with a bonus disc, which uh, my original copy didn't have. What is the bonus disc? Uh, the bonus disc has uh, a look inside Gears of War 2, extra maps, and much more. What is the much more? I don't know. I didn't pop it in. Picked up Ninja Gaiden. Gaiden? Ex Gaiden. Ninja Gaiden. Gaiden. I know you'd appreciate this one, and so would uh, the two boys from uh, Two Dorks. I haven't. I haven't played it yet. Grabbed uh, Spider-Man 2 for the Xbox. This is a great game. Absolutely yeah. great game. Well, I bought it because I remember you saying you love the, uh, the wall spinning, or the... Uh, way you could uh, spin your webs through the city and just fly anywhere pretty much. Web sling your way through the city? Yeah, web sling. How much are we talking for these though before we get too far? Uh, two ninety nine. Nice. A lot of them were two ninety nine. Super cheap. Got this one because I had got a two uh, individual but I didn't have the first one yet so I thought I'd pick up this double collection. Always good to have. There's so many God of War collections out there. I love the Gran Turismo series. I didn't have this one yet, so I picked it up. You do not. You you cannot play those games. Picked up this bag here of uh, oh boy. two PlayStation controllers. Even, this one even came with, which you don't normally see, the RF adapter one. Yeah, but actually, I haven't seen that Sony RF adapter. And all that came with this mint... PlayStation 1. Mint. Super clean. No dust anywhere. So I grabbed this one because I had originally modded my original uh, PlayStation 1, which I still have in box, but uh, I wanted to get one that wasn't modded. And? So all this and yours could be much more if the price is right. What did you get it for? How much? Uh, 20. 20? Uh, all this. That's good. That's Value Village? Uh, it was a different thrift store. Oh, a different thrift <laughs> store. <laughs> so, pretty good. All right. I will, maybe we'll swip, swip and swap here a little bit. Swip and swap. I will take this and this for $10. No. And I'll give you my uh, playable demo uh, <laughs> outrun. Yeah, sounds good. All right, signing off, guys. All right, hit the button. That's what she said.